Hey, what's up, you guys? So I have some big news here. Hermes V3 payload has been released for iPod Touch first generation, first generation iPhone, and iPhone 3G. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update to the new payload on all of those devices. Now for the iPod Touch first generation, you need to already have PS Freedom installed. If you haven't done that yet, check out my first video on that. I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen now. If you're using an iPhone, it's not required that you already have PS Freedom installed. So you can just watch this video and install PS Freedom and you'll already be on the new Hermes V3 payload. So let's go ahead and start with the iPod Touch first generation. You're gonna need a couple of things first. You're gonna need VNC out of Cydia for the iPod Touch. And if you already have PS Freedom installed, you definitely already have that on your iPod, or on your iPod so good job. And then you also need WinSCP and I'll go ahead and put the links below, but if you've already put PS Freedom on your iPod, you're probably already gonna have that as well. So now that you have both of those, the next thing that you need to do is download the correct payload for your device, and uh, those links will be down below in the description. So since I have the iPod Touch first gen, that's what I went ahead and downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract this file, and it's best if you just go ahead and extract it straight out to your desktop. And now that it's out on the desktop, if you open it up, you'll see that inside are the two files. Those should look familiar from when you first put PS Freedom on your iPod. You're going to see the zimage file and the android.img file. Now that you have those, we'll go ahead and open up WinSCP. And it's going to come up and ask for a host name. The host name is going to be your iPod's IP address. So if you don't know, you get that out of settings. And then Wi-Fi, and you tap next to your connection, it'll show you what your IP address is. So we're going to go ahead and connect. So mine is 192.168.2.37. Uh, the username is always going to be root, R-O-O-T. The password is going to be alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And I'll put this below in the description. Uh, we want to go ahead and connect just under the SCP protocol. Once you've done all that, go ahead and click on login. And it's always going to come up with this error message here. Just click OK and then we're in. So we want to go ahead and navigate to private slash VAR. Once you're there, you're going to see the android.img and the zimage file. These are the files that we're going to be replacing. So just go ahead and drag your new android.img file and the zimage file straight into WinSCP. And then just click on copy and it's going to ask you if you want to overwrite them. Just go ahead and click on yes to all and then it'll take just a couple of minutes here while it overwrites the files. Now that they've been overwritten, you want to make sure that their permissions are still set to read and write for all. So go ahead and right click on them individually and we'll go to properties and as long as that says 0777 you're good and we'll go ahead and check the other one. And that one is 077 as well. If it wouldn't say that, you just go ahead and go into the box and you type in 0777 and then you just click OK and then it'd be set. Now that you've done that, you're done. Just go ahead and unplug your iPod, go ahead and take it over your PS3 and just run the hack like you normally would and you're all set. So you can go ahead and close out of WinSCP. We don't need that anymore. And that's it if you're running an iPod Touch first generation. Now we'll go ahead and get over to the iPhones. It's a lot easier. For the iPhones, all you do is look in the description below. I'm going to have the link for your specific device. So let's say you have an iPhone 3G, and I'm always going to have the files for Windows and for Mac as well. So this is going to be pretty much the same if you're a Mac user. So we'll just say that I have the iPhone 3G for Windows. So I'll go ahead and download this, and then I'll go ahead and extract it to my desktop. And this will take a little bit longer. It's a bit larger file. So once it's extracted, You'll just go ahead and open it up. You're going to see inside of there the ifodroid.exe file. You just go ahead and double click on that. It's going to open that program up. Go ahead and make sure your iPhone is plugged in and you always want to make sure that this picture looks like your device. That way you know that you have the right file downloaded for your device. And then once you have it plugged in, you just click on shoot. It's going to come up. It's going to look like this. It's going to go through a few steps. It may take a few minutes, but that's going to do it for you. That's it. After you're finished, you just go ahead and take it over to your PlayStation, and just like normal, you hack your PlayStation. So I really hope that this helps you guys. If you have any question, uh, ask them in the comments below. Send me a PM. I always read my PMs and all of my comments, but what I'd really like you to do 
when I get it fixed is ask these questions on the forums at chrystechtv.com. My website has been down for a few days, not sure what's going on with it. I'm definitely going to have it fixed, so check it out. Also remember to subscribe to my videos. Also check out my personal channel. I'll go ahead and put a link up for that now. And that is it. I'm really glad that I'm able to help you guys, and I will see you in the next video.